Okay, let me just state the obvious. Uh, I look like shit right now. I just got home from work and I barely wore any makeup today. Um, I was really tired before work and I was lazy so I decided to not put on a bunch of makeup. <clears throat> As you can see I have highlight on and just a tiny bit of foundation and I filled in my eyebrows a little bit and that was it. And Eddie says hello. So the purpose of this video is to talk about a recent discovery at the drugstore. It's a new product. Uh, it just came out a couple weeks ago and I bought it and I gotta say it's probably going to be my favorite mascara of all time. I just want to take a couple minutes to talk about it and then I'm going to show you like a comparison of one eye done and the other eye not done. It's the Maybelline Colossal Spider Effect and it comes in a tube like this. It's like this weird half flat back brush. Like, it's not a full round spiky brush. The back is flat. The picture on the display shows the most disgusting, well not the most disgusting, but pretty disgusting, clumped up spider lashes, hence the name spider effect. Now that's not a look I particularly care for, but this mascara is so buildable and just the way that it builds on itself is pretty amazing. So I'm just going to do a quick demo. Um, the, I don't use this by itself. I clean up the clumpy mess that it does make with my CoverGirl Clump Crusher, which is always my second mascara. It's pretty much empty at this point, but I keep it for the brush because the brush does a really nice job of separating the clumps that come from this. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and then I'll do what I do. So real quick, I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Okay, so there we go, my eyelashes are curled. Now, here's what I was talking about, about the, the brush being flat on the back. This whole, this whole back side of it is completely flat. So you can see right off the bat just how thick and clumpy it is. So once I feel like I've overloaded my eye enough, I go into my clump crusher, which like I said is pretty much completely dried out, but I keep it around for the purpose of the brush. And don't worry about getting mascara all over your eyelid because it's really easy to clean up once it's dried. But see how I'm just cleaning it up now? And then I take what's left and run it across the bottom. Now I'm going to give that a second to dry. And then I'm going to flick off the flakes and then I'll do it like an extreme close-up of both my eyelashes. Okay, now excuse this incredibly awkward angle, but this is how I was able to get the camera really close. Oh, shit. Do you see how thick and black and freaking gigantic my eyelashes look? And just for good measure, I went and did my other eye with my usual Wet n Wild Clump Crusher combo, which is this eye here. Uh, clearly a visible, ridiculous difference. Doing the same exact thing, but just using 
that um, Spider Effect mascara. Ew, my skin looks so gross right now. I My deepest and most sincere apologies. But this video was necessary and it had to be done now because I can't keep putting it off. Now that's some dramatic lash right there. So I have some really cool things um, that I'd like to show you guys in a video soon. A little bit of Jaclyn Hill action. And a little bit of Jeffree Star action. You can plan on seeing some videos with these products sometime soon. I have yet to use any of them except the Champagne Pop liquid. That's what I have on my cheeks now. Um, so I'll have some videos coming up soon. Sorry again for the lack of doing videos. <sighs> Life just keeps happening and I'm having a hard time keeping up. But I have all these cool things to review and hopefully that will kickstart. Give me the kick in the ass that I need to uh, get back on the ball with YouTube videos. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. What is that? It's freaking sick.